Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Snyder with DormroomCash.com. Today I have another great uh, YouTube video for you. The title pretty much says it all. It's the top 10 home-based businesses. Now, uh, in this in this video, you will see you will find five that you can do online and five that you can do offline. I wanted to kind of mix it in there to give everybody a little bit. So let's get started. First thing and something that I do, I started doing and I continue to do is freelance writing. Now you can do you can make money by writing for clients. Um, I found clients on Digital Point, which is forums.digitalpoint.com, on SitePoint, which is another forum, warriorforum.com, and also on the in Craigslist in the Philippines section. So I found uh, clients there. Found clients in India even New Zealand so those would be places that you might want to might want to look to see if if people are looking for uh, somebody to that they need help to write articles for them. another place you can find work is on textbroker.com I highly recommend this this is where I go whenever I need more work uh, there's always articles to write and they ch if you're a level 2 writer I think they pay you 0.6 cents per word if you're a level Three writer, I think they they pay you a penny a word, and a level four writer, they pay you 1.4 or 1.6 cents a word. I don't remember which one is. Level five is like five cents a word, but you know, uh, there's a very limited amount of people that are level five writers. Now, uh, the benefit of this is you can work when you want to, and that's why I like doing that. Another way, another home-based business that you can start is an eBay business, which the best thing to do is start by selling unwanted items. Uh, I highly recommend you sell clothes. A lot of people sell electronics. A lot of people have electronics that they don't want. And there's a lot of people out there that would love to have them. So sell your electronics, sell your used clothes, your clothes that are no longer in style. Because there's still people out there that are looking to buy clothes for you know very little. So that would be a great great place to sell your clothes that you don't you no longer wear. Another way to make money is to resale. You do this by buying in bulk and selling individual items. Uh, uh, last year, I actually bought a, a bulk uh, pack of knives and sold them individually back on eBay and on Craigslist. So that's a great thing to do. Um, I wouldn't recommend selling knives. It was a. Uh, I was told by uh, my attorney to stop doing that, so I actually did. Um, Another thing you want to sell family members items. Now you you don't want to do this without them knowing. You want to ask them if they have anything that you need them to sell, and then charge them a small commission. Normally I charge uh, family or friends 10 to 15 percent, depending on what the item is and uh, you know how tough it would be for me to sell it. Another thing uh, I just wanted to let you know is that you can make money while sleeping with an eBay business. Um, I was a, I was a once able to make. Two hundred and thirty-eight dollars off of five sales while I took a two-hour nap. Now, all of this was while I'm sleeping. You know, in the middle of the day, made two hundred thirty-eight dollars. Now, let's say you know you list more items, you uh, could even sleep for a little bit longer, and you can still make money. So, how great is that? Another way is to be a virtual assistant. Now, the key here is to work for multiple clients at the same time. The trick to doing this is you got a couple clients together. Let's say one client wants you to uh, be there to answer emails throughout, you know, like a five-hour period. Well, you can do that, but maybe you want to find another client that wants you to respond to their emails as well in that same amount of time. And the key to, to the key to making this work is that you pretty much just have two different browsers open, um, using different email accounts, and you just sit there in front of your computer. That's something I did for a little while, and it worked great. Um, you might like it as well, so give it a shot. Uh, something that you need to know is that virtual assistants get paid between $3 to $7 per hour. Um, in the Philippines, I think it's $3 an hour, which is still pretty good for the Philippines. So you know, just keep that in mind. A uh, benefit of being a virtual assistant is that you can set your own work schedule. Uh, you can work nights, weekends, whatever you want. Now. Uh, places I'd look to be a virtual assistant would be Craigslist and to go to the Philippines, New Zealand, and even the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom pays a little bit more, um, but they don't have as many jobs, so that that's one of the downfalls of the United Kingdom. Another home-based business that you can do online is affiliate marketing. 
uh, something that I have gotten into recently is promoting on Facebook. Uh, don't just promote to your friends and family. You can also use Facebook ads, which is very easy to create. And uh, within the next couple of days, I should have a, a, f a YouTube video out uh, created about how to set up a Facebook ad and get cheap clicks. Something else is to create a blog. And you want to do that by using long tail keywords. You want to write articles promoting your affiliate product but you want to make sure that you're targeting long tail keywords so if I was promoting uh, you know a pair of pliers or something on Amazon I would actually you know make sure that the pliers or pliers is in the keyword but I'd add a bunch of words around it for example um, by by cheap stainless steel uh, pliers online maybe that would be a keyword that I'm targeting so another trick is to target different markets so if you are let's say you're promoting a product to uh, teenage girls well after a little while if you're not seeing a bunch of results or you're seeing results but you want to increase your income then try tar targeting a different market with a different product another trick is to increase traffic through social media so let's say you have a blog or you have a affiliate ID that you're trying to promote you want to you know set up YouTube videos you want to tweet to your Twitter followers just different things like that even you know promote to your friends and family on Facebook uh, something I would recommend is you promote high price products um, on Amazon uh, you know using the pliers example the uh, pliers will probably sell for under twenty dollars if you get six percent of that you're not making a lot of money so you want to choose a higher paying product um, that's kind of why a lot of people use clickbank because they pay you know, their products will sell for like forty fifty dollars and you get fifty to seventy five percent of that money okay moving on to the last idea to make money online is a craigslist business it's similar to an ebay business you can sell multiple items you can sell tools, uh, different family items, let's say you know children's clothes, toys, things like that, even electronics. Uh, I'd highly recommend selling electronics on Craigslist rather than eBay because you'll get less uh, fake bids, things like that. On Craigslist, they don't bid. They just call you, email you, and buy it. Another thing I like about Craigslist over eBay is you have lower costs. You actually have no shipping costs. It doesn't cost you any money to list an item, so everything's free. It's very easy to start. All you do is take pictures, create your ad copy, and publish the uh, your listing. Um, you can begin with unwanted items that are packed away or boxed up underneath your house, in the attic, or even in a garage. Uh, that's actually how I got started with it. my Craigslist business, and it works very well. You make a lot of money really quick. Okay, so the first idea, first home-based business uh, that does not have anything to do with the internet is a house cleaning business. I've talked about this before on dormroomcash.com. You can easily start a house cleaning business for your family and friends as your initial clients. You know, charge them a uh, fee per hour. The average rate in the United States is twenty-three dollars per hour, which is pretty good, being that the average uh, hourly wage in the United States is under eight dollars. Now, if you want to increase your income, you do that by hiring other workers. Hire other workers, pay them ten, fifteen dollars an hour to work. And let's say you charge twenty-three dollars an hour, you're making thirteen to eight dollars extra per hour per hired employee. Um, nice thing about this is you have low startup costs. You have limited supplies that you have to buy. Let's say you buy a broom, a mop, some you know Windex, paper towels, and you're you know you're good to go. Um, it's easy to market a house cleaning business. You can s you can use it. You can try cold calling, do word of mouth, um, even internet marketing works on the next idea lawn care um, I actually started one of these when I was 12 so you need limited experience you, they're easy to start all you need is a lawn mower uh, lawn trimmer and some lawn tools such as a rake maybe a shovel um, trash bags things like that and you get fast cash um, you know one of my goals of starting dormroomcash.com was actually to earn cash now that was my motto in the beginning and a lawn care business, you get paid weekly. If you uh, had clients that were using you weekly, you get paid weekly. If you had clients that needed you bi-weekly, you get paid every two weeks. Nice thing is you can set your own rate. 
you can charge by the lawn size, you can charge by the hour, you can charge by whatever you want. Another home based business that is very popular but has high start costs is a daycare center. The reason it has high start costs is because you have legal fees, you need a business license, and a lot of times you need to take classes. Classes such as uh, CPR and first aid are essential when you're doing a daycare center or daycare business inside your home. Now there are there is great earning potential in a daycare business. For instance, if you want more, if you get more children, your income increases. Um, a lot of daycare centers charge like in between three to five dollars an hour per child. So if it's three dollars an hour per child, you have one child. Let's say you make three dollars per hour for that day. Let's say you have ten children, so you make thirty dollars per hour. Now it's e very easy to expand. You can easily hire more employees. And the more employees you get, the more children you can have. Um, by you can increase the market, um, or it's increasing. The market is increasing for a daycare center. Sorry about that. Um, it's not going away anytime soon. You can't outsource daycare. You can't, you know, uh, with technology and everything, limiting certain jobs out there. You can't hire a robot to watch children. It just doesn't work like that. So a daycare center is going to be around for a very long time. What about a craft business? Can you make crafts? Um, you know, what can you make? You make frames, sweaters, uh, different things like that. If you can, start a craft business. You can do it from home. You can sell your items online on Etsy.com, Craigslist.com, even eBay.com. Um, a lot of people like home homemade goods, so I'd highly recommend starting there. So you can sell at local gatherings such as farmers markets, even swap meets. People love crafts, so make them sell them you'll make a lot of money how about local marketing uh, if you've seen my uh, recent video actually talking about local marketing and how you can make a business out of it um, you can promote local businesses such as real estate and insurance agents um, I actually did a case study on a, a real estate market in Seattle and you know it makes a pretty good amount of money uh, something I'd recommend is you charge by results so if a company gets a new customer reach, gets more leads because of your uh, local marketing, then you can charge by that or only charge them after they see some results from your work. You have simple marketing techniques that you can use for local marketing. You can use uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, even word of mouth works great. So that's all for my top 10 home business home based businesses. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, missed anything or I went a little bit too quick too quick please go back and watch it again make sure you uh, know as much as you can about each of the businesses uh, also make sure you head on over to dormroomcash.com and see more ideas to make money from home and also make sure you uh, subscribe today to the dorm room cash YouTube channel you can see the button right there make sure you click it and subscribe right now but thank you watching this video this is Adam Snyder from dormroomcash.com and I'll see you again tomorrow